Our attitudes and actions affect our health and well-being. Here are some things that we're learning. People trust and feel safe in well-known and local organisations such as neighbourhood centres and community centres. For some people, the process of going to see a GP can be stressful and overwhelming. The physical environment at the GP can add to the stress. Support and change takes time and trust. Good relationships are needed to make positive changes to health for the whole community. For many people, the statement, Hobart is close and easy to get to for services, does not ring true. Many factors impact this, including dealing with the busyness, facing physical or mental health barriers, and the access to and availability of transport. People delay taking action on their health for many reasons, including cost and worries about what doctors may tell them. Here's what we think is happening. Issues of trust may stop people from travelling out of their local area for health and wellbeing services and supports. People are reporting to us they know walking and outdoor activities are good for their health and enjoyable. People have told us that health is about feeling good and being able to do the things they want. This includes things such as meeting up with friends, participating in social groups and activities, and being able to make their own decisions. Some people do not seek health and well-being support when it would be good for them, both now and into the future. How widespread is this behaviour? Is this more true for some people and groups? We'd like to learn more. There are many reasons, such as finances, social connections, education and where they live that influence how people feel and what they do when it comes to health and well-being. We want to know what influences or shapes your choices about your health. Why do some people choose to go to the emergency department rather than using other services like a GP or pharmacy? What do you think?